Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, Gina seeks to bring down the man who attacked her friend in the very dark episode bought and paid for. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from November 24th to November 30th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 25th, an attempted raid on the terrorist-held Egypt Air Flight 648 ended with 60 people dead, including two of the terrorists. The hijackers had forced the plane to land in Malta after taking over before takeoff in Athens, Greece. The terrorists planned for the plane to land in Libya, but landed in Malta due to the lack of fuel. The botched raid to save the hostages ended in a massacre and escalated tensions between the U.S. and Malta. In music, the Miami Vice and Go With The Heat favorite Phil Collins is back at the number one spot on the Hot 100. The song Separate Lives will take the honor from Starship at the top of the charts. From the White Knight's motion picture soundtrack, the song is a duet with Marilyn Martin and would receive an Oscar nomination for the songwriter Stephen Bishop. I am a gigantic Phil Collins fan and will never say no to more Phil in our lives. In movies, a film of epic proportions has taken over the box office. For just a minute, I'd like to acknowledge the amazing year 1985 was for movies. Beverly Hills Cop, Commando, and Back to the Future all were released and are classics, but none of them hold a candle to this week's top film, the film that will carry the box office for the rest of the year. I am talking of the one and only Rocky IV. I don't care what anyone else thinks of Rocky IV, I love this movie. You get it all. Boxing, Russians played by non-Russian actors, Apollo Creed's amazing entrance to James Brown, and of course, the greatest montage in the history of film. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter, at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.